Hello and welcome, I'm Garth Allen, this is Racing News Now, and today we're still talking about Michigan almost a week later. ARCA, Michigan, that is, as penalties were handed down today for Drew Dollar and some members of the Venturini Motorsports team for some actions that were taken off the racetrack at Michigan. Nothing stemming from the actual accidents that happened on track between Drew Dollar and Thad Moffat, and then subsequently Tim Richmond getting caught up in that as well, but there were some things happening off the track that resulted in some penalties today that we're going to talk about today. I'm going to give my thoughts on all of this as well, but that's going to be at the end of the video once we have gone through exactly what the penalties are. First penalty we've got gets handed down to Kevin Reed Jr., I'm going to read this verbatim for you, exactly what the penalty says, and then we're going to talk about what it actually came from. It says, based on violation of 2021 ARCA rulebook section 12-8.1, which references ARCA member conduct guidelines, including public statement and or communication that criticizes, ridicules, or otherwise disparages another person based on that person's race, color, creed, national origin, gender, sexual orientation, marital status, religion, age, or handicapping condition, ARCA crew member Kevin Reed Jr. has been fined $1,500 and suspended indefinitely. Now, this comes from a use of a homophobic slur that Kevin Reed reportedly made uh, when in discussions, I believe, with a DGR crew member. I don't, I don't know the exact details of that, but that is my understanding of what happened there is that uh, Kevin Reed Jr. made an unfortunate use of a word, which is a no-no, whether that be in ARCA or anywhere. That, that's, that's not okay. Um, and Kevin Reed Jr. has been penalized for that. Now, two other uh, members of the Venturini Motorsports team were penalized for things that happened on Friday as well, those being Kevin Reed Sr., Drew Dollar's crew chief as well, as Drew Dollar. Kevin Reed has been fined $500 and placed on probation for the remainder of the 2021 season. And Drew Dollar has been fined $1,000. Not on probation, though. This stems from uh, Drew Dollar and his crew chief Kevin Reed went and basically trashed a DGR hauler after... My, my understanding is it's after Drew left the care center at Michigan. They went and threw a bunch of pieces of Drew's torn up race car and the shredded tires into the lounge of a DGR hauler. And actually, Drew tweeted a picture of this earlier today after the penalty happened. We'll throw that up right here. In the tweet, just said violation of section 12-8, a thousand dollars, and that emoji. Uh, and, and you can at least the way that I read it, you can tell he's joking about it because he just says, $1,000? He's literally sitting here laughing about this penalty, is what he's doing. That tells me that this penalty wasn't severe enough. All this talk, looking back on interviews earlier in the season where we were talking to Charlie Crawl about in-race penalties, where they'll hold somebody two laps, five laps, whatever it is, and Charlie's words were, well... They won't do it again, will they? Where's that attitude when giving out these penalties? Because the way I'm reading this is Drew is just laughing about this and he didn't learn a thing from this. He didn't learn that it's, it's not okay to go trash somebody else's hauler. And I get it. When things like that happen, we all have thoughts like that go through our head. But it's one thing to have the thought of taking pieces of your torn up race car and your tires and throwing them in the lounge of the person that wrecked you and actually going and doing it. There's two, that's two different things, and, and that shouldn't happen. I'm sorry, but it shouldn't. Honestly, I don't think these penalties were severe enough. This is not okay. It's one thing to get into a skirmish on track. Whether that should have been penalized or not, that's a different discussion. It's also another thing to get into a physical altercation, get into a fight on pit road. It's another to go trash somebody's holler in the middle of a race. And for folks that aren't necessarily aware of how these haulers are laid out, the lounge is in the deepest part of the holler. So it's not like they just opened the door and threw everything into the holler. 
they grabbed this stuff, carried it all the way through the hauler, and threw it into the lounge. They did this. Th this was thought out. This was planned out, like not like days in advance, but you could tell there was some thought put into this. It wasn't just, oh, we're going to grab our stuff and throw it into this hauler. No, they were like, okay, we're going to put this in the lounge where like the nicest, cleanest part of the hauler, this is going to make a statement. This is going to show them that we're not happy about this. And I get it. I get that you're not happy about the situation, but there's better ways to deal with this. And yes, they should have been penalized, in my opinion. They should have been penalized more severely. Should they have been suspended? That's another debate entirely, and I'm not 100% sure that it goes that far, but ARC is getting an image problem right now. This comes shortly on the heels of just a couple weeks ago, the whole uh, Esteps video about Arca being a bloodbath, and then the subsequent videos after that with, with Charlie defending the series, all the videos that we did here on RNN. This comes right on the heels of that, and this is not good. This is not a good look for Arca. Arca did the right thing by coming out with penalties for Drew Dollar and Kevin Reed Sr., Kevin Reed Jr., but when you've got the driver that you penalized openly laughing about your penalty in public, that should be a light bulb that you didn't penalize them severely enough, that it's literally just a slap on the wrist and means nothing to them. Your penalty meant nothing to Drew Dollar, and he is making that very clear right now on Twitter. Now, does Arca do anything about that? I don't know. But that is, that's the situation we're in right now. Do I want to see Drew Dollar suspended? No. Do I think this is a bad look to be going out and laughing about this on Twitter? Yes, I think that's a very bad look. And he's making himself look worse by doing this. So that is the situation we're in right now with Arca. I didn't want to make a super long video with this, but I wanted to bring this to light. I haven't seen a lot of talk about this today, but it is out there. But I wanted to make sure this gets out there and everyone's aware that these penalties took place and give my thoughts on them as well. Let me know down in the comments what you think about all this. Were these penalties just right? Were they too harsh? Were they not harsh enough? Is this a situation of boys have at it and they can do whatever they want? Or should Arca have been a little more strict here and laid down the law a little bit firmer? That's the question we are faced with here. Now, one thing I almost forgot about, Drew actually tagged General Tire in that tweet. General Tire responded to that tweet with this gif. Clearly, General Tire wants nothing to do with this. So that should tell you the situation we're in right now. But I think that's going to about do it. We will be at Milwaukee on Sunday, uh, giving you coverage from that race on Sunday, the Sprecher 150. So keep an eye out for all of that, all the coverage from the track, both here and on Twitter. And I, I'm going to try to start uh, getting Facebook back up and running again as well. I haven't put anything on Facebook in <laughs> years at this point. So I'm going to try to get Facebook back up and running as well, so you probably see some coverage on there as well. So keep an eye out for all of that. We're going to try to get you everything we can from Milwaukee on Sunday. But I think that's going to do it. So as always, thank you to our Patreon supporter, Regional Manager William Holmes. Thank you as always for your support. It is greatly appreciated. If you would like to be a patron of RNN, the link is down below in the description. Patreon.com slash racing news now. It's not required by any means, but definitely is appreciated when you want to support RNN in that way. But that's going to do it for this little RNN news break. So at that, I'm Garth Allen for Racing News Now.